In what is hoped to be the beginning of the end of America's COVID-19 pandemic, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration on Friday night authorized the first vaccine to prevent the disease. The vaccine, developed by Pfizer and its German partner BioNTech, appears to be extremely safe and highly effective. It was developed faster than any previously approved vaccine in the United States, not by compromising safety or accepting a mediocre vaccine as some feared, but by spending billions of taxpayer dollars and taking advantage of recent scientific advances. The vaccine could start to be delivered into people's arms as soon as Monday, if not earlier. About 2.9 million frontline health care workers and nursing home residents are expected to receive the vaccine in the first few days. More vaccine will be rolled out in the weeks and months to come, with both of two frontrunners expected to deliver a combined 300 million doses of their vaccines by the middle of next year, enough to vaccinate nearly half the population of the U.S., today is truly a historic event for humanity as a whole, said Monsef Slawi, an immunologist and retired pharmaceutical executive who helped lead the government's vaccine development effort. Eleven months almost to the day after a pandemic virus sequence was identified and devastated lives and livelihoods across the globe, Science, industry and government working together were able to discover develop and manufacture in a record time the first of a series of potent vaccines that undoubtedly will be pivotal to ridding us of this plague. The FDA's emergency use authorization for the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine BNT162b2 in people ages 16 and up comes as the nation's COVID-19 death toll tops the number of Americans who died on the battlefield in World War II. President Donald Trump, who announced the decision in a three-minute video on Twitter, said he was extremely proud of his administration's accomplishment in collaboration with scientists and the private sector. Today's achievement is a reminder of America's unlimited potential when we have the will and the courage to pursue ambitious goals, he said. Other members of the administration were equally enthusiastic. It is nothing short of a medical miracle to have FDA authorization of a vaccine for COVID-19 just over 11 months since the virus was made known to the world, said Alex Azar, head of the Department of Health and Human Services in an emailed statement. Dr. Stephen Hahn, the FDA commissioner, called the authorization, a significant milestone in battling this devastating pandemic that has affected so many families in the United States and around the world. Next week, a second candidate COVID-19 vaccine, developed by the Cambridge, Massachusetts-based Moderna, will go through the same review process and is expected to be swiftly cleared for use. The FDA will stop short of fully approving either vaccine.